Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I will be building the Lego City set 60138, which is a police chase set. It's quite a big, quite a large box. Comes with a helicopter, two vehicles, and, and, some, and some barricades. And an exclusive minifigure as well, which is that one there. That's the side of the box. I'll show you the back of the box as well. So we'll open her up. We have four bags. So it takes two bags for the helicopter. I'll put the box down here because it will take up a bit too. I'll put it over here and take up too much space. So put that down there. Right, we'll start off with bag number one, which is the police car. And there's the sheet stickers as well. Everyone knows, anyone watching my videos knows stickers are, aren't really my favourite things, but... The police book is not that thick, so we should be alright. I've built on these police cars before, so... This looks like a more sporty model, so... So, first order of business is build the policeman. He only comes with one face. He's got his sunglasses on and his police officer expression. If you've been pulled over, you'll know what I mean. So, there we have our police officer. Nice detailing. But they haven't got a walkie-talkie with him this time, like they do with most, most police officers, so. And it has a little badge on his hat, hat, on his hat as well, so. We'll put him there. He's got to build the barricade up, which is, that's a fence piece. Doubles up as a barricade, so. Nice bit of recycling on Lego's part, so. And we have a stick, we have a yellow and black safety stripe. That goes on there like so, so we'll put him behind there, put him behind there like that, put him there, so. We will start building the police car. There's lots of stickers for this car, so I'll just show you, just show you the sticker sheet. So, as you can see, lots of stickers. So, lots of fun. I do prefer the fire sets myself, but axles on they've designed it so the car leans forward a bit so that's probably to give it a more sporty look so this is what we have so far for the chassis of the vehicle as a yellow steering wheel these bits have been in production for as long as I can probably probably as, 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 as as long as I come back actually building, so actually building myself, so they're always quite handy bricks to have as well, so we have some dials go on the front here. We have two bits that go on here. And I missed a bit. Put 
put the wheel arches on. These are very, these are very universal bricks in, in the, on Lego sets, but they do serve their purpose quite nicely though, so. That's what we have so far for the chassis of the police car. I'm trying to show those dials while I'm here as well, so. Because they're gonna disappear at some, we'll put that down there for the time being. Sorry about this, I'm just concentrating on not losing the fiddly bits. Because anyone who's watched my videos before will know that's one of my one of my special tricks that is. Right, so this bit goes on the back. That's the back lighting unit. So there we go. Red lights on the back for break. wrong that's when that's when the excitement gets to you a little bit easily rectified don't bite your nails kids and then you can actually separate move your lego a little bit better that's what we have so far Doesn't look like there'll be a big like engine build on these ones because these are Lego city sets tend not to do that. You just tend to get that with the um, with the speed champion sets, which are a lot more complex and designed. They're actually they are actually designed um, to actually be like they're, they're, they are designed along those sort of lines. So there's going to be a lot more for for model makers rather than for play. So. But there is nothing wrong, nothing wrong with having them and playing with them. Because that is the whole purpose of the play. As I say, that's the whole purpose of Lego. Whether you're my age and just like building and collecting it, or whether you're, whether you're my daughter's age and like building and playing with it, which she does quite often. You buy her a Lego set and Next thing you know, it's within a week, it's all been in, intermingled into everything else, so, which is good. It keeps, it keeps the actual brand alive by doing that, so. We should have, there we go, two little round bits. This way I'm gonna get distracted. white bits now we've got the number plate for the vehicle I'm not sure if this is unique or not I'd have to check this with the Lego site but I would hope they'll be putting like unique plates on if you, if they're making you put stickers on it. So, though I still think these these could be printed, which would save a lot of hassle and dodgy stickering like that. Now we have the Lego police bit on the front. So 
bit on the back. That's what we have so far for the chassis of the police car. Back lights, front lights, looking quite cool. Some blue detailing on the front. There will be in a minute when I can get the bits. I always get a bit nervous when I build these because occasionally, very rarely, Lego looks sometimes, um, sometimes um, don't put enough bricks in. Doesn't happen very. Usually get usually get too many, so it's not a big big issue. So that's what we have so far. Definitely starting to take shape now. Looking it's looking quite good. These police cars have come on leaps and bounds since um, when, when, I, when I was a kid. You got some some really basic. If if you if you like, um, Google the um, Lego police set over the years. You'll actually see you'll see how far they've come on. They come on from British saloon. What what, what you call a saloon car? In um, I don't know what part of the world you're from, but generally a saloon car where you put one figure in it. And it looked pretty. It didn't look very. It looked cool. It looked cool at the time because what police cars look like. But now, it doesn't. It wouldn't look quite as cool. That's enough nostalgia for the, nostalgia for the time being. Nice blue screen. I like that. Yep, we are there, there we go. It's definitely starting to take shape. If you didn't have police tickets all over it, it would look, it would look really cool. Now you have the roof, which has number two on it. So that's, hopefully, I would, I should, I should think that goes with. So we take it into the police station set, which I've never been lucky enough to own. At, at some point I will. Always fancy the police station, a Lego police station and a but Again it's time and money. When you grow up you have to think about things like um, the actual have you got the time to, have you got the time have you got the space for it? So and have you got the money for it? Money is not always the issue but nope. Steering wheels come loose. Not good. Sort that out in a minute. Oh, stick it on. Nice little stick on. Nice policeman in it. So he wouldn't really have his hat on while he was driving. I don't know. I'm not sure if. In Britain, they don't wear their hat when they're driving. In, in Britain, more often they don't, but in America, they sometimes do. So, so um, if, I, if I'm incorrect on that, please let me know. Doesn't seem to be holding together very well, so. Maybe I should say help, but there we have our policeman in his car. And it does move as well. The wheels are quite free on it, so we'll leave that there. We'll leave the little bits out because that's bag number one done. We'll go on to bag number two now. We'll keep the spare bits out just in case. This will be the bad guy's car. It's got your standard Lego, Lego robber's hat. So. Oh, 
nearly. I wish you get a little tray for doing this, but when I do my big project, which I will, which I will be doing at some point in the future, I will be using a tray. I'll get the big project is something to do with James Bond, so any any brickheads out there will will, will know what I'm, will know what I'm on about. Here we have our Lego criminal. It comes with the standard Lego beanie, um, high vis jacket. That's some nice detailing on it. We'll stick them, we'll stick in there next to the policeman for the time being. He won't stay there long, so. This is going to be a bit more sporty because it's going to, because it needs, needs to be to get away from the police car. That's what we have so far for the chassis. They've they put different colour bricks on, so so you, just so you can identify the actual front of the vehicle and the back of the vehicle. Which for younger builders, which be, this is a age five to twelve set. So if you're a five year old building this set, you would actually manage better. We have a Lego grey steering wheel. Those have been around for, like I said before, ages and ages and ages. I won't say how old I am, so. Now we've got to build the Build this bit here, which is one of these, one of these, one of these, and two blue bits. Put the side bits on. There we go, that's what we have so far. This bit builds build not going on a bit quicker, so we've got to put the wheel arches on. Four dots go on there for I'm not talking about the Lego franchise, the new one they bought out, the craft one they bought they bought out, so there we go. That's what we have so far. We've got to do the rear lighting unit now, so Lego vehicles only tend to have a number plate on the only tend to have a number plate on the front. I've noticed so clearly in Lego land you don't, you don't need a license. You, you don't need a rear number plate. So Let's 
nice goes on the back. Like so. Here we have the rear lighting unit and possibly, I think they're the exhausts for the twin exhaust car. So it's gonna so it's gonna be quite nippy. on now we gotta put some inlet turbo inlets in now so which way do they go oh. how not to put the stickers on Not a bad job. There we go. There's your there's your air intake for the engine, which is in the back of this vehicle. Got to build the front spoiler for the vehicle. I'm not sure the exact name for it. I do watch these car programs, but I'm a big fan of the most famous one. Well, the original lineup anyway, and anything with cars, and I generally watch anyway. So, I think they call it the splitter, but I'm not sure. Any 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 petrolheads out there want need to correct me? Please do feel free. There we go, some nice detailing on the front there. This goes on the front. I do enjoy building these a lot more than I actually enjoy building the um, Speed Champion sets, even though they're more detailed. These sets do it, are just as cool in my opinion. This creates the body. So there is absolutely nothing wrong with a nice bit of detailing though. So you got that bit there, that links the the front um links the splitter, so but it still it does look quite cool though, irrespective of what it's called or Goes on the back here, like right? so. Spoiler on the back. One thing to remember the police always have more horsepower than you will, generally, so. Or if they don't know with a helicopter, so you're always gonna, you're pretty much always gonna lose. So. Put the wheels on. One, two, three, four. This one's got sporty wheels on as well. All the Lego wheels come with the sporty, the sporties, sporties ones, or the or you have the normal wheels. I always prefer the sporty ones anyway. So also a very good. Right, there he, there's his stole. There's his loot. He has two hundred. Whatever I would say, dollar because everyone used do dollars or pounds. We call it whatever you want. So, and two, what it's meant to be, gold bars. I would say.
And there we have the, the sports car. We'll stick our bad guy in there. There we have his car, which is quite nice, quite nippy. And he's got, he's got his loot in the back, as you can see. I'll try and show you. There you go. You can see it in that little gap there. Put that there. Obviously, the police car is a bit more horsepower than the actual other vehicle to, to catch him. But the police always tend to end up catching them in, the, in, in these Lego things. So. Right, now we're going to build the helicopter, which is over two bags. But... We'll start with bag number three. This does have a potential struck, the potential for another build, which I'll, which I've been think, which I've been, which I would like to do at some point. So, there we go. Got the bags over there. A bit on. We'll leave those there for the time being. We can move these over so, you, so we can see the build a bit more. Right. So first of all, we've got to build the pilot and the detective. So this is obviously um, this is obviously one of those bad guys. Where, one of those one of those bad guys who, who they really want. Otherwise, they wouldn't be have quite so many people on it, so. You know, there's our pilot. What face has he got? He's got sunglasses. There we go. He's got his pilot glasses. Oh, it's a female pilot, so. And the pilot comes with a, le a new Lego walkie-talkie, I think. So I don't remember my Lego walkie-talkies having a bit, little bit of detail on the back, so. They've obviously redone those over the over the years. So. And it's female pilot, I'll just show you the detailing on the face. And nice detailing on the back as well. There's the back and the front, so nice and nice and shiny. Have the visor. Has a lot of build potential as well. We've got build the detective. Looks a bit like the guy out of CSI. Not a big fan of it, but he has that sort of look about him. Ooh. Trying to put the hand. His hands are quite seem to be quite tight for putting the handcuffs in. So. He clearly doesn't want to be holding the handcuffs for any longer than he has to, so. Maybe that's why he thinks. This is the exclusive figure you've got. He has like a um, bulletproof, what would be a bulletproof jacket, bulletproof stab jacket, or with all his bits on it. So we'll put him here. Now we're building the helicopter. Possibly one of the best bits of the build. I can remember building one of these when I was a lot younger. There used to be a TV program called Blue Thunder on it and, I'm, and, and I built my own because Lego weren't making, Lego weren't making the set so I, I was after so you have to make, you have to use your imagination. Looking at this, you possibly could build a very nice airwolf as well, with a bit of, with a few modifications. There's some specially mouldy bricks for this, but sometimes that's better, so. There we go. Yeah, we have the chassis, the bit, first bit for the helicopter.
There we go. Here we have the controls and the control panel for it. It's a quite a nice control panel. They've actually put some thought into it as well. It's got, got the time on it, it's 17.23. It has the standard helicopter, standard sort of controls. You probably expect to see on an aircraft as well. So they haven't just been recycling the, the space computers like they used to do. With Lego Space, that's what they used to do. They used to recycle, they had, they had two they had a they had a normal computer and they had a tracking computer, so which was cool, but more de more detail the better, so which is it probably has impact on the price over the years as well, so and we have some arches going in. Haven't seen these bits. Haven't seen these bits for for, for years. These bits here. These bits have been around for quite a long time. Used to use them in houses, if memory serves me right, and for doorways and stuff like that. So. on here. Sorry, bear with me. I've got lots of fiddly bits here. And any any regular watchers of my videos will know will, will actually know if I if, if I pay if I stop paying attention, I end up dropping them. I haven't lost. I don't think I've lost any yet recently. But if I am wrong, please feel free to correct me later. have so far for it. The chassis is designed to take shape. As is the helicopter itself. Some safety, some safety bars to hold on to when they're flying. I did have the um, the the air ambulance, which is from the from the seventies. So there we go. There's a there's a giveaway to my age. I got that when I got that when I was young. Still. still that was quite a cool set, and it, and it had the um, second generation Lego figures, which didn't actually have arms on, so. Just clip the screen into place for this, just show you that. The screen goes in like so. Now we've got, now we're heading into sticker, sticker territory. Makes into a police, cop, police helicopter. on the front like so. Now we've got some detailing to put on. No, 
done it wrong. All right, never mind. All right, do it better. That's number six. Let's see if we can get this bit right. So I'm gonna peel that off quickly. Oh, I can, happy days. Let me try and get this bit right and just show you when I've done it. Sorry, bear with me. Right, that's about as good as it's gonna get on this side. What we have there's a st the sticker and detail on that side. I missed that one because that covers that white line there. That covers that one there. No doubt we've got the same old stickers on this side, so I'll try and do these right. So if you bear with me, it will be worth it. Because once I've got these, once the stickers are all done. Flip this over. That's what we have so far. Definitely starting to take shape as a helicopter. And back over, back on the upside, upside down again. I need to get that top bit on, otherwise I can keep knocking that. That's one thing about Lego, it is very fiddly. Now we've got some landing gear to put on. Should be three sets, so should be fine. Hang on, one bit. Never had this problem when I never had this never had to do it this way when I was a when I was a kid. So. I'll try and find that Lego set one these days and 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 show it to you. So. You used to get your wheels ready made on these Lego sets, so. So there we have the landing gear on there. Just needs a bit for the nose, as you can see, because you can't land a helicopter like that. As anyone knows any, anything about helicopters. Now I have two of these. some Technic Pops, Technic Pop studs here, so. Which is quite nice, because they actually move around, as you can see, so they can steer it. If anyone's ever watched Airwolf, which is probably not, yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. You can convert this to Airwolf with a little bit of creativity. There we go. That's the first part of the helicopter. Our bag number four, which is the tail and the rotor blades. The most important part of the helicopter, but that chassis is rather cool. And 
you have a bag of bits as well. I think that's going to be a bit of string, I think, so. Right, so. Let's get this started. First bit to secure the rest of the helicopter in place. These wheels, these tyres aren't very good, but in fact, it steers is quite nice. So, make the rotor. Thin. More stickers. That bit goes on the end there. You have that goes on here. Nice bit of Technic Lego. Never had this when I was a kid. When I was a kid you had a, um, a 90 degree block, a 90 degree flat block that went up like that. It was a bit like that, but it had, um, it was a two, it was, it was, it was two two by twos at a right angle and a, and like a, a Technic Pop stub on it. And, and, you, and you put your, you put the, put the rotor on there, so. Worth looking on the Lego history for. And if you're lucky, that, that, that would be your rotor blade as well, so. That's your tail blade, which goes, spins around really nicely. It's got one of the gray bits, which is looser, a bit looser than the other ones, so not quite as thick. That's quite nice. Moving parts, always good on Lego. Got to put this bit on here. Right, there we go. Right, now we've got to put the these bits on here. One of those goes on there to support that. Couple more bits going here. Sorry, bear with me. I'm playing Hunt the Lego Brick at the moment. Which anyone who builds Lego will know how challenging that can be. There you have the rotor, the bit for the rotor blade. Then you have a bit that goes on here. Nice detailing. There we go, that's what we have so far. Now we've got to build the rotor blade up. I'll move up with the winch first. I do love bits like this. The fiddly the better, so we've got some cotton in here.
I do like these little Lego boxes. And it's wrapped around that, so I think they put they always put it in the in these to actually make sure you don't lose it. Or it can get lost in the nice black cotton for the winch rope. Also can be used when you're building your airfix, the old airfix Spitfires and Hurricanes. We have your your support wire across there. You can use this for doing that. I've done that before when I built my Battle of, my Battle of Britain Memorial flight a long time ago. So that goes through here. And through here. I don't think I've got the right, haven't got, really got the right fingers for doing this, so bear with me. But it goes through there like that. Oh, I've got to put that bit on there first. I love fiddly bits. Bear with me, I'm just trying to... There we go. We have the cotton through there. I'm gonna try and hold that in place while I hopefully attach this and it puts it, keeps it all where, keeps it all where it's meant to be. Hang on, Mr. Bit. Love it, oh, and I just pulled the cotton out as well. It's starting to get fiddly. I'm gonna hold that there, put that on the end there, and then I'm gonna push this through, hopefully. So that stays in place. There we go. Here's our winch. I'll move on a bit quicker now because that's a Lego wheel, but use the standard bit there because it's not, it doesn't require anything too fancy. Got a little gear there, so mini gear thing. Wind that up like that. It could be worse, you could have 230 linkages to do, so that's the that's the famous one. Lots of Technic sets do that, like when you buy the any any, any tracked vehicle, you have to do all the linkages, you, you get a bag full of chains and you have to make do it all yourself. So bear with me, I'm just tying this winch up just enough. And I forgot what you got to tie the little hook on. Right, here we go. This is where you need really good really good fingers but they really should get you to do this bit first but sorry bear with me This is fiddly, so 
I will get this done. There we go, it's connected, not as... Oh, it's, no it's not. It's double knot it really, or... There's other ways of doing it, but I won't say, I won't say on, on a video where kids are watching, so... Encourage bad habits, so... One. Two. That's now tied on there, as you can see. Sorry, I do apologise if it... It's just one of those little fiddly jobs that you don't get. That bit goes on the side there. To give you a winch on the side of it there. We are now getting a lot closer, and should be, this bit should be a lot less fiddly. Got a nice engine block here. Just show you that quickly. One bit that goes in the back. Turbine for the right, that goes on this side here. There we have the engines on it, so it flies. Base spin round, moving parts, always good. Now the rotor blade. Which has come a long way since I've since I was building these, so has to be said. That is massive. Put that bit on top there. You have some stickers to go on. God, not good. Not sure whether. Oh, that's good, I didn't take the sticker off, luckily. So these go on the tips of the blades. Very fiddly process, so. There we have our, that should be our heli police helicopter. So what we can do. I'm presuming the front bit comes off. Yeah. Front bit comes off, we can put our pilot in there. Could do with a, really do with a latch for the radio, somewhere to put the radio in there, but. radio isn't bestly isn't ideally designed but so if you stick it in that gap there as you can try and try and show you there we go put the radio down there you can put a spare set of handcuffs on the side of the helicopter because they're always handy we have our man of action I forgot I don't know what his name is but quite a cool figure our oh, man action on the side of the helicopter, he's gonna help capture the capture the bad guy with the winch. So he'd come in, put the winch down and lift him up. 
Overall, quite overall, a very good set. Very good value for money for what I paid for it. It was, it was this set is now going for around twenty pounds. So, if you shop around, it's got a very nice, very nice helicopter with it. Three vehicles, value for money, good build, lots of movement, good design. So, overall, a good build. Hope you like this video. Um, if you do, please feel free to um, like, share, and subscribe. Um, if you, have any, if you have any feedback, please please leave it at the, end, at the end of the video in the comments. I'd like to thank my, my regular subscribers, Soundwave Man, Blocky Talkie, uh, Toy Galaxy, and, and many others. Um, hope you all stay safe. Again, th th again, th again, thank you for watching and keep building. Hope, I hope very much to see you in my next video. Thank you very much.